Hey, uh, just a quickie for you here. One point at a time, right? But at least other points. My question and my point is thusly. We are saints if we believe in Jesus. Is that a shock to you? Sorry for my pompadour. <laughs> Never done that before. Um, and it's an S. How about that? We are saints. The Bible says believers are saints. You don't have to be wait 500 years to be canonized. Every believer is a saint. Is this good news? Yes, it's very good news. This is how in the result of God's work on the cross, which um, blotted out our sin when we believe. So by God's mercy, he graciously forgave us by dying himself for us and then rising. And he, and he says, if you believe in me, you will not perish. You will have eternal life. Nothing can separate you from me. These are statements of Jesus. You know, somebody wrote a book. What was his name? You know, Jesus is either Lord, lunatic, or a liar. He made these statements. They're in the Bible. He rose from the dead. And they're pretty profound statements. They're, they're game changers. And they say, I have present, I have eternal life presently. I am a citizen of heaven presently, even though I'm living here now. I am a saint presently because I believe I've been born again. I believe in Jesus. This is what the world is missing. This is that God-shaped vacuum that Blaise Pascal spoke about. These are the, the hallmarks, the, the traits, the characteristics, the bennies of what you get when you, when you say yes to Jesus by faith. So believe. Today is the day of salvation. Believe in Jesus. And you can be a saint all time, forever, for ages to come, past, present, future, sins forgiven, and you have eternal life. And those who are ordained for eternal life believe Acts 13, 48. Check that one out. So by God's sovereignty, he selected some of us, those of us who are born again, spiritually born the first time, you're naturally born, but you're spiritually born once. And that's what's called being born again. So my message today that even now, even today, right now, you don't have to wait 500 years. You can be called a saint. So that what is that? That casts dispersions towards the Catholic Church, for one. All right. And the, and the Pope, you know, the Pope, I was going to do a video on this, but the Pope's not even, in, in the, what happens with Catholicism, it takes away from Jesus' statements. And it, and, and all these statements that I just brought forth that are in the Bible that say I am a citizen of heaven, that I have eternal life, that I am a saint, the Pope himself's not even guaranteed a saint sainthood. The Pope himself is not even guaranteed eternal life. The Pope himself is not even a citizen of heaven. So what has transpired is man has come in and changed the gospel. But the gospel that was preached is a simple gospel. Believe and be saved. You don't need any bells and whistles. Believe is a synony synonymous with repentance. Because you're repenting, you're rethinking who Jesus is. So that's a shot at the Protestant church and repentance. And then this whole lordship salvation. Well, Jesus is Lord already. He's Lord already. He's Lord of my life already. Right. He's Lord of all things. The whole definition of the word Lord begs the question, what is he not Lord of? If you're Lord, that means you're Lord of everything. So I don't have to make Jesus Lord. So that's another shot at the Protestants, okay? 
So we get the Catholics and the Protestants, but in the middle, we have <clears throat> faith. Even now, even everybody, anybody, any sinner, any type of sin you might have committed, any type of sin you are in right now, you can be forgiven. Thanks to God and what he has done. And that's amazing grace. And then we live with the spirit as a result because we're born again. And I don't care if you're in sin or not, just believe in Jesus and then he'll change you. So if you hear this message, I don't care what the hell, I'm not asking you to give up your sin. I'm not, I'm not asking you to do that. That sounds, that's a very radical statement. But you, once you see this message, maybe for the first time, see what Jesus accomplished on the cross and then believe, then the Holy Spirit takes residence in you. The Holy Spirit is the guarantee of what's to come. It's a deposit, all right, of all the promises to come. And he does a work. We are God's workmanship. And you'll sin less as you grow in sanctification. But I want you to get justified. It's all about justification, all right? And if you are a Christian, you need to go through a diagnostic test. Are you 100% sure you're going to heaven? And um, if not, if you're not 100% sure, then you, don't you want to be 100% sure? And I ask you, how, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus? Are you born again? Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, okay? And we get these bennies. The bennies are a new body, a new life. Not just a new life, a body, and glorified body at that, but a new life, a new house in, the, in, in God's home. home. Then you'll rule and reign with Christ, so you'll have an important job. You're not going to be on a cloud, you know, with a harp. But I would kind of like that. I like to learn how to play a musical instrument. Harp sounds good to me. But we're going to rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. All right. Then Satan will be defeated at the end. This is all in the Bible. The Bible tells us what is to come and from what where we come from from you know isaiah 46 10. so it's important to 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 get forgiven to realize you're a saint to, you need an identity without an identity you can't have a godly vision get an identity today get forgiven see that the blood was shed for you. See that he did it all because you you can't. None of us can be 100% perfect. None of us can obey the Ten Commandments all the time. Our thoughts alone condemn us, the Bible says. So the, the Bible is presented to show you that there's no way out other than Jesus. But that's actually good news because Jesus does it all, turns around and offers it for free. And yes, we're still going to sin in our bodies after we are, quote unquote, saved. But get saved today. You want to get saved and then work out the details, you know. All right, so that's my message today. Um, hope you get it. Hope you, hope you understand this. Even if you're a Christian, uh, you, you need, in order to have that godly vision, in order to know what God's will is, you have to make sure that you say that you have your identity you know and don't let these denominations and all these pe pastors in their books in their sermons trick you get into the word you know grind it out get it in get into that word grind, you know the, the best victories in life sometimes are when you are willing to show up every day for two years and grind it out just grind it out find this truth it's the holy grail it's that brass ring, but it leads to the streets of gold. <laughs> All right. None of my mixed metaphors, but they're not mixed. And they aren't metaphor, you know, they, they're metaphorical and a multi level medical metaphorical because you're going up to the third heaven. <laughs> 
Alright. I'll catch you all later. Bye.